Hello and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Have you ever thought about the history of your family? How maybe that all of you die at a certain age or that addiction or abuse runs really strong in your family or your family has histories of mental health issues, um, suicide, depression, anger, or you have issues of stroke, heart attacks, or kidney disease, or cancer in your family. And have you wondered why all of your family has, seems to come up with these particular things? Have you been told by others inside or outside your family that you all have a generational curse? Something of a plague or a disease or a medical concern that passes down from generation to generation and there's nothing you can do about it? Why do we believe that we have a generational curse? Is it possible because someone has told us that's very strongly opinionated or knowledgeable in your family or that is because you've witnessed it with your own eyes you've seen various people throughout your family that have passed away or at a certain age or you see the addiction or the abuse or the uh, mental health concerns the depression or you see the medical things of strokes or kidney disease or all those different things you've witnessed them yourself and that's why you believe that that is what's going on with your family also believe it to be true because we've read in the Bible where God punished generations for the sins of their fathers. In Exodus 34 7 the scripture talks about how God did at that time punish up to the third and fourth generations for the negative and positive behaviors of the fathers of the generations before them. The term generational curse is a term that humankind has made but the generational punishment has been documented yes in the bible question number two is has anything changed since exodus 34 7 has god um, written anything different regarding that and the answer is absolutely yes in Ezekiel 18th chapter in the second verse the children of god had this saying or this proverb that they would say all the time that proverb would say is the fathers have eaten sour grapes and now the children's teeth are set on edge and God questioned Ezekiel as to why the children of God was saying this proverb that the sour grapes are eaten by the fathers but the children's teeth are on edge and what did that mean basically what they were saying is that the fathers do wrong, but it's the children and the fathers that get the punishment, good or bad, for it. So that there's nothing that they could do one way or the other because they will still be punished for the behaviors or misdeeds of the fathers prior, up to the third and fourth generations. Well, the Lord did not like this saying, and he spoke in Ezekiel 3, 18 3 to say that the children of God shall have no other reason to quote this particular proverb or saying ever again and he says as I live all souls are mine but behold the one that sins is the one that's going to die and or be punished to add even more weight to it in Ezekiel eighteen twenty, God says the soul that sinneth shall die the son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. Meaning, the father shall not bear the wrongdoing of the son, neither the son shall bear the wrongdoing of the father. Each one shall deal or bear with their own sin or behaviors. Now the question you may ask is, how do I break this chain, this mindset, this cycle, this family direction, this pathway that my family has been on. Because regardless of what I've said previously, your family has a history of something and you've seen it with your own eyes or witnessed it for yourself. There's a scripture that's one of my personal favorites, which is in Proverbs 23, 7. It says, for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. It goes on to say in that scripture, eat and drink, he says to you, but his heart is not with you. The whole point of it being, whatever you think in your heart, 
that's what you will be or that's what you are. You began to break the generational trend that your family's on by changing the way you think in your heart and changing what you speak into the air. That's the beginning of the change that you will need to start a new tradition in your family. The changes that you wish to see in your family cannot be done necessarily in a blink of an eye. It may take a little longer and as you might have heard this little cliche that says it starts with you it does it starts with you it starts with the way you speak or the way you think and beginning that change with yourself first there's one last thing i wish to say before i closed out this video which is sticks and stones may break my bones but words can heal or kill me thank you for listening and if you enjoy the content please subscribe to the channel like the videos and share take care